show working on the kitchen and in today's video I'm going to show you the final sanding of the drywall and plaster, the first coat of primer, and getting this place painted and ready to install cabinets and I will probably be also installing some light fixtures for the kitchen. So come along! So I got a thin coat of primer on everything. Um, I had to kind of stretch it a little bit. I only had uh, like three quarters of a gallon left over from another project and I didn't want to have to go buy another can. So I stretched it out pretty thin, but I'm gonna put about two coats of paint on this place. So uh, it should look pretty good when it's done. Um, but moving on to go pick out some paint right now. So in case you're curious, the brand I'm using is Pittsburgh Ultra, and it's a paint and primer in one. It's a paint I've used before. I normally have used Sherwin-Williams, but this time I got this from Menards. It was on sale this, this month for Pittsburgh Paints, and right now saving money is important. So, and it's a pretty good paint. So I'm going with a color that is gray. And that's what our kitchen's going to be. So I got the first coat done. I still have another coat to do, and then I'm gonna be putting in the light fixture here and the light fixture here, and putting some cover plates on. Then I gotta start working on some trim, also putting in the cabinets. So it's coming along. So I let it dry overnight. I'm here to put a second coat on at this point. And it definitely needs it. You can, I don't know if you can see it in the video, There's Little areas that, you know, just don't get caught by the nap. So I'll be doing a second coat on here. I learned that with this, with painting kitchens with semi-gloss. You'll notice also that this wall has, I don't know if you can see, there's 
There's just a lot of little imperfections and things back here. This is the wall that is the exterior wall of the house. And this is also going to be behind the stove. And most of it's going to be covered. Part of it's covered by a cabinet. So I'm not really, I didn't really spend a lot of time trying to correct the wall too much. There's a lot of, a lot of things that happen when you're dealing with an old house. And this, there's always these imperfections, but this house is over a hundred years old. So, um, but the new drywall, even this wall over here, most of it's either going to be covered with cabinets, the cabinets on the lower end, and then I have plans to put tile in the space between. So I may not do much in the way of a second coat on this wall. Um, behind here is going to be behind the refrigerator. I will recoat this section. Um, and of course the ceiling and everything. So that's my plan. do it for this episode of renovation house number four for me and I've got the light fixtures installed here in the kitchen I got two coats of paint on the walls now I need to start uh, bringing in the cabinets setting them and kind of get them set in place I may need to get the help with that so I've got a friend I've reached out to so depending on his schedule I will either have the next episode having that installed or I'll be working in the bedrooms upstairs. I've got some ceiling repairs to do up there to get those rooms prepped for flooring. I want to finish up the ceiling and paint. There's a couple of patches up there. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed following the series and following the project along, please uh, take a minute to hit me a like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment telling you what you thought. Tell me all the bad things I did wrong. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.